Hey, Baba. Hi. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Oh, I need to do that. I need to do some stretching. Go potty. Go potty. Damn, it's early. Not as early as I should have woke up. Quarantine life. All right. Dad's going to make his drink. We'll go for a walk. Yes, we will. We will. I know. You're ready for it. Go to the door. You ready? <laughs> One sec. I need to get my, my water. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my uh, new quarantine, quarantine fitness morning routine. Good stuff. BCAs is the sample of our upcoming supplement line. I don't even want to tell you guys the flavor. I'm really excited about it though. So little BCAs, a little water, and then also the supplements I take before food. I'll show you that right now too. I got my vitamin C, L-carnitine, and a prebiotic. Take these. If you're like me, you probably spend too much time on your phone in the morning. I usually have my coffee with my breakfast. So the first hour, just raw dog. Hey, Bobo. Look at him. Dude loves the sun. Finds the sun just anywhere it is. <sighs> you ready? All right, let's go. It's probably bad that I don't walk him on a leash, but he's so good. Watch. Hobbs, come here. Come here. Get over here. Come here. Right now. That's a good boy. Just stay close with me. Okay, let's go for a walk. Don't really count the morning walks as cardio. Just try to get up and get some blood going. Get ready for uh, when I come back to the house. That's when my activity starts. How's the hair, man? I didn't look at it. Looks great. It's morning hair. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> Okay. Come on. I wouldn't be super excited if this was my breakfast. So I go back and forth, feed him like a more of the raw diet where I was, and now I was traveling so much, I switched to kibble because it was easier to travel with. And I was out in Santa Fe and he's just kind of been used to this. We're eventually gonna go back, I think, to that other diet because I think it's better for him. But for right now, sit, stay, stay. Okay. Now it's time for my morning activities to start. Take care of the pup. Now it's time to jump into it. And it's because it's a nice day. We're gonna go outside instead of in the sunroom. Stretching out of the way, usually I come to our fitness culture app and for that day, I'll either have some piece of cardio or abs or sometimes both. Today we're doing a little bit of ab work and then I'll be doing a little bit more of our body weight conditioning segment that we have right now during our home workout. So it's just moving for 20 to 30 minutes between abs and cardio, getting a little sweat going and then it'll be time for breakfast. First up, plank, 60 seconds. <laughs> Next up, oblique crunches. After 20 of those, we get 30 seconds of side plank on each side. All right, once we've gone one through an entire circuit of those three movements, rest 60 seconds, and then we got a whole nother round, and then one more after that. So we have three rounds total, and then we'll move on to the next ab circuit. The best part 
part about coming out here in the morning, get your vitamin D from the sun, start off your day right. In quarantine, I realize there's only so much you can do, but you can still be waking up at a decent hour. You can still be doing things in the morning that are gonna get you better. This is a period that I was like, you know, I, I could work on my flexibility. I could work on my mobility. I could just start the day off with some movement. So I'm starting into now this phase of a slight lean cutting phase where it's not gonna be super drastic. I don't know what body fat percentage I am right now. I'm thinking probably right around 11, 12-ish. Want to get down to about seven, six, seven. So I'm gonna need to do a, a slight cut. A lot of that is gonna be having that morning routine of waking up, taking the supplements, my L-carnitine, my vitamin C, getting out here, getting moving, doing my abs. All of that is just mentally checking in. So coming out here and doing this is kind of like committing each day. If you can commit each morning, you can commit each day and then each week and then each month and all of a sudden now results happen. So the morning routine is gonna be the most important thing I think you do in your day because it sets yourself up for success. So if you're out here, mentally you're getting into it, physically you're connecting with what you want to do mentally, all of a sudden, like Happy Gilmore says, it's a merry-go-round. Put the quarter in, up and down, round and round, all good things. I think Chubb says that off of Happy Gilmore. So we just did our first round of abs. We now have our second three movements. Again, this is all from the Fitness Culture app. Sit up to press, get Russian twist and windshield wipers. I got my handy little rock over here that I do things with. <sighs> And again, I have no food in me yet. Sometimes I'll get coffee beforehand. Other times I'll just come out here after I walk hobs and get to work. So I like to do what I can at home here before heading in to the gym later on in the day for I would say like the more of the weight workout. Now, I know a lot of people probably don't have a gym to go to right now, that's okay. We actually have home workouts, but because I own the gym, we go in there probably around two each day. We do about an hour of weight training, conditioning, but if I can do at least a half hour at home in the morning, it's gonna greatly reduce how much I have to do in the afternoon. So it's like committing it to it early in the day sets that mindset, makes it easier for me to stay on top of it later in the day. If you go all day doing nothing, and then two, three, four o'clock rolls around and you got a bunch of stuff to do, chances of not doing it are gonna be a lot greater than if you were to do some stuff in the morning, start your day off right, start off that snowball effect, and then continue on with it. of that nice and tight tight like a tiger on today's program we also have 20 to 40 minutes of lifts now i'm gonna do that this morning just knock it out get it out of the way sometimes it's a 15 minute double unders bag work some conditioning i would say about half the time i do cardio if it's super super intense i kind of wait until later on in the day if it's more easy cardio like this i'll go in knock it out on the peloton go for a run around the neighborhood you liking this morning routine you're liking this you like when we come outside in the morning it's been kind of cold we haven't been coming out as much we've been in that room but it's starting to feel a little bit more like summer mornings out here. The birds are chirping, hummingbirds are out. You love it, huh? You love it. You get bad breath. You got bad Frenchie breath. If anyone out there has bulldogs, what do you guys do for their breath? You love it. Just suntan. That's what keeps your golden brown color. So before I start my cardio here, whether it was running, doing a circuit consisting of whatever, double unders, bag tosses, whatever we do out there, I'm gonna be doing more than just stretching and abs. Definitely time to get some coffee. You notice how there's a hammer on there? You know why there is? Cause I'm about to do work. I'm about to do work, put it in. Working on my fitness. Parker's my witness. I was waiting for it. Were you? Oh yeah. You were waiting for that? Not me specifically, but I was waiting for you, my witness. Oh. I'll be up in the back room of the house working on my fitness. One day I'm gonna have like a really nice espresso maker, but I don't really know if I'd actually use it. I do like a good oat milk latte, but today's gonna be just black coffee with a little bit of almond creamer. That's all she needs, about 15 calories. If you guys want to see a full day of my maintenance diet or just starting to get lean diet, it is a full day of eating with macronutrients included. Hobbs, do you want to go sit outside for a second? Morgan Rose. She's a little bit more of a sleeper than I am. 
We've gotten into this bad, bad habit of waking up and I get on my phone, so don't do that, guys. And you wanna talk about something that'll kill your productivity for the day, waking up and getting on your phone for a half hour. I'm guilty of it just as much as the next person, but my day and your day will be so much better if you get up and you just start your day rather than wasting 30 minutes scrolling. I get it, check your messages, make sure mom hasn't called, make sure everyone's okay in your life. Read maybe a daily Bible verse or a motivational quote, that's fine. But then get your butt up, take your dog for a walk, make some coffee, do some stretches, do some abs, hit your cardio, and be productive for the day. Pinky's up. Mom, the meatloaf. You know what, I will have some meatloaf. Let's have some meatloaf. You want some? Yes. I knew you'd go. Hey mom, the meatloaf. Big girl. Let me go see if she wants to get up. She likes the sunrise just as much as the next person. And while we've missed sunrise, she likes sitting outside with that little gremlin right there. You're a gremlin. You're not a dog. I don't know very many dogs that sit like that. Morgan Rose. We'll be outside drinking coffee on the patio furniture that we never use. But we're gonna start. See you out there. This is that, that morning weather we like. I can start off every morning like this. I'd be a happy camper. Hey, bro. I love French Bulldogs. Dude, my plant's so sad. Help me guys, help me take care of this plant. I don't know how much water to give it. I don't know how much sunlight to give it. I watered the leaves and that was a no-no I found out. You live and you learn. Oh, you're letting them up, up here? Yeah, because I didn't get any cuddles this morning from you. This is that part of the morning routine that is uh, family time. Attitude of gratitude. Let me see your bum. Do you have a poopy bum? It's a little It's bit. crusty. We have a three-year-old, not a French bulldog. <laughs> just realized how weird that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's crusty. Hey. Yep. No. 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 <laughs> the nicest morning we've had. It really is. It's been enjoyable to come outside. Usually it's so cold. It's not cold at all out here, really. Stepping into the office. So yesterday we had double unders and some back swings and some abs. Today it's just gonna be a 20 minute ride on the Peloton. And again, if you don't have a bike at your house, go for a run, go for a walk. Do a little home workout from my Instagram. There's always something you can be doing. I realize not everyone's gonna have like a little home gym set up. Even if you're watching this and it's not quarantine, then get up and go to the gym. After uh, yesterday's leg workout, and if you need something that's just gonna flush out the system, sweat a little bit, burn some calories, but I'm not trying to tax my legs, I'm not trying to burn them, get a bunch of lactic acid build up in here, because yesterday's leg workout was stupid. crazy but again go for a walk have a stationary bike jump on that to have a road bike jump on that just give it the shit out of me you wanna come in come in hey bud what's up yeah you don't like this room maybe next week maybe next week you'll start your cardio regime you bum you got muscle like that you don't need to do cardio Hobbs you get stacked just just eating kibble. I like to know how many Peloton peeps training for six days a week with weights too. Just, it's a great cardio session, 20 minutes. Really this whole start to finish, the abs, my little stretching, the cardio, it's 40 minutes of work basically. Depending on how long you do your cardio, that was a 20 minute one. It was pretty much a recovery ride. It ended up being a lot harder because my quads are just blown up from yesterday's leg day. The abs, probably got those done in 10 minutes. The stretching was 10 minutes, that's 40 minutes total. I never do more typically than an hour in the morning Morning, even if I do like a 30 minute run, a different thing of abs or more stretching, it's never gonna be more than an hour. I know a lot of people have an hour to spare these days. An hour in the morning, then I go back to the gym and do about another hour. And it's a lot better for me to do it that way because then I'm working out or stretching for two hours a day. That includes my cardio, that includes my lifting. I don't do cardio every single day, but I would say two hours on average is what I'm working for. And that could be plus or minus, my workout might be a little bit longer than an hour. It could mean we go for a longer walk. On days that like I'm gonna go to the lake, I'm gonna paddleboard, I'm just gonna be active, I might not go into the gym. So I don't train with weights every single day. I train with weights about five days a week.
week, just starting off in the morning is going to get you right. I can't stress it enough. The days where I don't do something in the morning, even if it's just the stretch, the abs, even meditate. I've kind of gotten away from meditating, but I think it's one of those things that when I exercise, it's kind of like my meditation. So if you don't like you know, to do cardio, just even meditate. Stretch, meditate, do some abs, go for a walk. Just get moving in the morning because it's going to make your day, even if you're not trying to be a crazy fitness person, it's still gonna set your day up. You're gonna have better mental clarity. You're not gonna get aggravated by the littlest of things. So right now, I'm gonna jump in this pool. That's kind of like a celebratory. Got nice and sweaty. Eat my breakfast and then I start my day. Then I get creative. Then I'm, you know, responding to direct messages, figuring out what I'm gonna post today, figuring out what we're gonna shoot tomorrow. And if I can work out, just get that out of the way, now I can think about being creative. About two hours of responding, emails, brand growth, could even be some reading after that. But two hours is gonna be about what I work. And in that time, I'll also post and respond to people as well. Maybe jump on YouTube, respond to some comments. So I got about two hours of that. Then it's lunchtime, and then it's off to the gym. Sometimes in there, if I didn't sleep well, or if I didn't get enough sleep, I will take a nap. So that's one other thing that I would rather wake up at the same time. Even if I have to go to bed a little bit later, I would rather wake up at the same time. It's a Saturday morning right now. I'd rather wake up somewhat early every single day. And if I didn't get enough sleep the night before, I'm gonna get a nap. And that's not to say I don't shoot for a full night's sleep every night. But if for whatever reason I don't go to bed as early as I should, I don't push back my wake up time. I wake up at the same time and then I get a nap during that day. So that's one thing that maybe you guys think about. Again, quarantine life, it's a little bit different right now. Things are kind of weird. I just wanna encourage people to move right now because it's gonna do so much for that mental health. And that mental health right now is what so many people need, so. Hey, son. You dead man. Are you dead man? Who, who kind of dog lays like that? You're such a weirdo. Honestly. I love you, but you're a weirdo. You wanna get in the pool? You wanna get in the pool? Come on, let's get in the pool. We're gonna throw a sick backflip, Parker. Oh yeah. Guys. Like always, if you're not subscribed, which I know a lot of you aren't, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give it a like if you're gonna try a morning routine different sometime this week. See you guys.